Okay, let's discuss where we should light our menorah. So the ideal uh, institution was to light our menorah at the entrance of our house outside um, within one tefach. A tefach is basically the, uh, the space between when you make a fist, your closed, uh, your closed fist between your thumb and your pinky here, right? That's a tefach, so within a tefach close to the house. Um, and uh, on the left side of the house, you have the mezuzah on the right side of the door and the menorah on the left side as you walk in. If you live in an apartment building, so then you don't, uh, you're, right, you're, you're on the second floor, third floor, fourth floor, whatever it is, so you can't light inside the apartment. So then you should light um, in a window facing outwards, which is why a lot of people today don't light um, outside, but they light at their window because they imagine somehow that they're like an apartment building. Um, now, if you're over 20 amos, an amma is, the, is about a foot and a half, it's the space between your elbow and the top of your hand when you go like this. So if you're 20 feet, so it's about 30 feet off the, off the ground. Um, so then you can't, there's no point in lighting in the window because nobody, when they look up, they can't see the menorah anyway, it's too high up. So then you just light inside um, at your dining room table or wherever. I mean, there's no problem lighting at the window. But really, that you know, there's no difference if you light up in somewhere inside the middle of the room or at the window. Um, interestingly enough, just something that I read once in one of the Rambam's letters, um, and it could explain why we light outside. A lot of people assume that we light outside um, so that people will see it. But if you think about it, lighting outside in the door, um, depending on how your house is set up, is not necessarily going to be the best way to see it. So in which case, what's the what's the purpose of lighting at your doorway? So the Rambam in one of his letters said, he's not, now again, this is my explanation. I'm applying what the Rambam says, but this is not, the Rambam doesn't say that this is why we light at the doorway. It's my own interpretation. The Rambam says that one of the decrees that the Greeks made against the Jews was that they were not allowed to do mitzvot and they had to leave the door of their houses open so that a Greek soldier could always just peek inside and inspect. There was no privacy. So it could be if, uh, you know, if that, that interpretation, that's something that the rabbi mentioned. So then imagine if what we're doing is we're lighting at the wind, uh, we're lighting, excuse me, in the doorway specifically to show that one of the decrees was that the door has to stay open and so that mitzvahs could not be performed. So therefore we specifically publicize the miracle of us beating the Greeks at that exact same spot. Interesting interpretation, take it or leave it, but I think it makes a lot of sense and it adds some meaning to us in Israel, at least, who light at the doorway. There are those in America that do also, but for the most part in America, they light inside or outside of Israel, I should say, not just America, but in Israel, most of the people, again, not, they're not an apartment building, but if you have a private house, so then we light outside at the door. Okay, hope you enjoyed this sixth Hanukkah video. See you at number seven.